Dear friends, the period of Lent is here again. And the opportunity is given to us once more to journey into our innermost self to discover who we really are. In the period of Lent, we are called to self-awareness. Self-awareness leads to self-understanding and self-acceptance. Self-awareness, self-understanding, and self-acceptance to a greater extent influence the relationship we have with God and with one another. Back in our seminary days, there was this common expression that you can go through the seminary without the seminary going through you. This happens when the seminarian only sees the seminary as just a place of passage that one has to go through to move to the next stage of formation to priesthood or religious life, as the case may be. This can also be true with our Lenten observances. We can go through Lent without Lent going through us. This happens when we take the Lenten observances as just the fulfillment of the laws and prescriptions of the church and fail to grasp the real meaning and what it disposes us for. This was the mistake of the people in Isaiah's days. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1 to 9. And the mistake of the disciples of John the Baptist and the Pharisees also. Matthew chapter 9, verse 14 to 15. The word of God and the teachings of the church lead us to the knowledge that the purpose of our Lenten observances, fasting, prayers, and almsgiving are to lead us to self-control that liberates the spirit. But not just that. They should also lead us to the awareness of the human needs around us and to dispose us to make a conscious move to alleviate them. We can do this by concretizing the corporal and the spiritual works of mercy. That is to say, as our Lenten observances blunt our knives of sin, they should at the same time sharpen our knives of righteousness and good deeds. Failure to grasp this, we may go through this period of Lent successfully, but lose the grace it offers. However, if we sincerely grasp the true meaning and the purpose of our Lenten observances and we allow ourselves to be moved to action by them, we can be assured of the prophecy of Isaiah that then shall your light break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up speedily. Your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your real guide. Then you shall call, and the Lord will answer. You shall cry, and he will say, Here I am. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 8 to 9. Shalom. Shalom.